Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I'm here with our second and final personal break this evening. Do have another box of 2021 Upper Deck Extended Series Hockey. This one for Ed M from Texas. So thank you so much, Ed, for letting me open up some hockey for you here on the channel. And I hope to find you some awesome cards to add to your collection. Did open up a box for Sarah just prior and we did see some nice cards, although we didn't find any of those Day with the Cup SSP unannounced inserts. So I'm really hoping that we see at least one here on the channel. I'm of course personally trying to collect the set. I think about I have about three or so more to go It was of course an unannounced insert So it seems like there's ten might be surprised and eventually see some more pop up But I do think I have about seven of ten if my less list is currently correct But would love to see one here even if it's not for me just want to see one in person for the first time So let's see if we can work some magic here for Ed but Let's go ahead and jump on into this final box of the night by snapping us into the corner Let's get started. Of course, Extended Series Hockey, just like Series 1 and Series 2, has 8 cards per pack and 24 packs per box. Now we are seeing, oddly enough, one pack per box that has only base cards inside. Now that's something you usually see with retail releases. Didn't see that in Series 1 or Series 2, but Extended Series is seemingly having one full base pack per box. If you see two packs in your box that you think have full base, make sure you go back and check all those commons. There's most likely a French variant in those, because of course, French variants are back here, just like in Series 1 and Series 2. You will be either getting a base French or a Young Gun French per box, so either a variant Francais or a Jeune Loupe per box. But anyways, pack number one, let's get started here for Ed. We are starting off the Sorokin SPX Finite Insert. Now these are pretty cool, about 55 point in size, and they are numbered out of 2,999, 11.97 of 29.99 here on that Sorokin. And I like that little, that little SPX Finite symbol in the middle. Now we have seen some foil parallels, those we've seen numbered out of 300, and those we've seen numbered out of 99. So 2.99 and 99, not sure if one was because it was a rookie and the other one was a vet, but the foil parallels, those Finite Inserts look great. And anyways, let's continue here, see what else we can find for Ed. We do have a variant for, say, here, Josh Brown for the Senators. The say down there, of course. Card number 596. Definitely a bit odd seeing such high number cards. You know, of course, this is the first time Extended Series has ever existed. I'm used to seeing high number cards in Topps Baseball with Update Series. Of course, you have Series 1, Series 2, and Update is scheduled every year. But this is the first time Upper Deck has done Extended Series. I know their reasoning for it was, of course, the season was very odd, lots of trade. Even I remember when the product came out, Char was traded in the offseason, and yet Char was still in a Bruins uniform in whatever series he first appeared in. So he is, of course, in the Caps uniform here. We have a Nick Kamano clear cut for the Stars. Card number 540. Also seems like we're seeing more clear cuts this time around, I think. One of you was telling me during a live stream that you're finding either a clear cut or a dazzler per box, which I really like clear cut, so I'm happy with that. I like the dazzler inserts as well. We're seeing one of those per box in series one and series two, but now they're a bit more rare. So a little bit sad that we're losing our one per box dazzler, but I do love clear cuts. Well, let's continue here. We do have ultimate victory, Mitch Marner insert, number 17. Actually, that Shattenkirk there. That is one of the few Day with the Cup cards I actually need. Of course, still in the Lightning uniform in that insert set. And then, of course, I will have to go ahead and collect it again next year. I was asking Bounty Hunter, because I've been collecting hockey for several years, but not as long as I'm sure. Ooh, what's that? That's cool. We have a high gloss. Hey, we found a high gloss young gun during this past weekend's live stream. And we have another one right here. So pretty nice pulls here. Patrick Liney and Pierre-Luc Dubois. The little switcheroo there. That's cool. Extended series checklist for the first 100, 501 through 600. Card number 6 of 10. That's pretty sweet. I actually really like that. Wasn't expecting a high gloss. I was like, oh, that's super shiny. Very cool here for Ed. Definitely was a big trade during the season. Makes sense to have them on that little checklist. All right, what was I talking about? Ah, yes, I got to collect more David the Cup. Oh, no, how horrible. Got to do that next, next year, Series 2, most likely. Series 1, usually, so 2021. 2021, 22. Sounds like I'm saying three numbers there, but it's just so used to saying 2020, 21. Now saying 2021 is weird. Anyways, series one usually has the flashbacks. I was asking Bounty Hunter because I I was very small. 
I was very small <laughs> in 2004, so I wasn't collecting hockey cards back then. We have a Marshawn, pros and prospects out of a thousand. Man, we keep seeing numbered cards while I'm trying to tell my story here. Anyways, I don't think there's been Day with the Cup flashbacks for any Lightning players in 2004. So, if Upper Deck wants to go for the trifecta uh, to ruin my wallet, they could do the flashbacks in Series 1. And then they could do the regular day with the cups in series two. Uh, the pain never ends for my wallet, but of course I am still very happy. I know they did have that boat parade today. I didn't get to go. I, I don't like boats anyways. I wouldn't want to be near the water, but they did have that today. I was here doing mail and stuff like that. Artem Zub for the Senator's Young Gun. So hopefully there is still an opportunity for me to actually go take a picture with the cup. I saw the cup got a big old dent in it. going to Montreal for repairs, but hey, you guys, the cup's going to Montreal. Woohoo! <laughs> no, but I hope there's an opportunity. I did, I did actually have pictures with the cup when I was very tiny. I did show them off actually this past weekend during our live stream. Hey, our first tribute into the box Kopitar. So I'd like to get a new picture, of course, not being like, what, seven? Not being like a seven-year-old. <laughs> you know, but I want to also take a picture with me holding that old picture with the cup. Because I, di I didn't go to any of the things last year. wasn't feeling comfortable. We have Jake Bischoff, Young Gun here for Vegas. So that'd be cool. So hopefully there is still like some sort of event. Probably should have kept a better eye out for today's celebration. But I think it was just like a big old party. I'm not, I'm not a party person, so. Props to everybody who got to go. I was just actually looking at pictures while I was waiting for Sarah's video to export. We have Ultimate Rookie Ollie Julevi. Or Ultimate Victory Rookie. Drop the word in there. That's very cool. I'm surprised. And we've opened up about two cases so far. We found two high glosses, so that's pretty cool. One Young Gun high gloss, one checklist high gloss. Young Gun tribute, Dylan Cousins actually saw one of them this past weekend for Jerry, who PCs the Sabres, so I was very pleased with that pull for him because he did actually say, oh, I'll keep that for my personal collection. I was like, nice. Nice. Love pulling people cards that they actively enjoy. Of course, it's great to pull good value cards, but... Even me personally, like you might have, if you watched that preview box last week, uh, not on Wednesday on release day, but we we did have it arrive on Friday. I was like, yay, look at all these lightning cards. And I was just pulling aside all the lightning cards just because, of course, that's my team. I like to collect even base cards I'm excited about. But here is our whole base pack. Did already see that very full same, but I mean, you never know. You might get more than one. Probably not, but always worth to just double check. I've been opening up so much hobby that actually during our 25k special, I was opening up a retail mega box and there was an all base pack. I was like, what? And they're like, yeah, that's that's normal for retail. And I was like, I haven't opened up retail in so long. Nick Robertson, Holographics. When I first started collecting hockey cards, I, I loved getting all the tins. I love, I have like an assortment of tins at home. And I even keep a lot of like, when we open stuff that's in tins on the channel, I usually take the tins home. They're good for storage. Good for storage. Cole Holtz. Actually, that's the young gun we found the high gloss of for Simon this past weekend. I say like it was a while ago. It was, <laughs> it was about 36 hours. Not a full 48 hours ago because, of course, the stream ran until about like 4 a.m. <laughs> 4 a.m. on Sunday. Much longer than I thought it would take. Hey, look at that Calfoot. Rookie class. It's a nice looking card. I like the rookie classes. Remind me of the portraits. But with like weird bathroom tile background going on. I just like it a lot. I like it a lot. But, so my memory actually of a lot of these hockey pulls from this past weekend, a lot of hockey, is surprisingly fresh. Like I'm impressing myself. I'm like, oh yeah, I pulled this for this person, pulled this. I'm like, wow, my brain, nature is healing. For some reason I can remember things. I've been a goldfish, I feel like, for the past two months. Shesterkin ovation, insert number 11. Now I'm returning. Allie's returning to elephant. It's good. It's good. I like being able to mentally keep track of stuff. Like knowing approximate odds for things. Usually high gloss are like, I think Jerry was saying one in like six cases, one's five cases. So pulling high glosses like that back to back almost is really, really cool. Vasilevsky tribute, number 59. I saw, I saw a gif. Vasilevsky walked around with the con Smythe on his head. I didn't realize it was hollow. Makes sense, because otherwise that thing would be insanely heavy. Walking around like Pyramid Head from uh, Silent Hill. I was like, what are you doing? I wonder how many people like stressed out whenever they take the cup on a boat. It's like, if they drop it, somebody has to go fish that out. But also, you're around a lot of Floridians. 
that would also probably want to go fish that out. I am a Floridian, but I am not a Florida man. I, I'm not a Florida woman either. Like that, That's like a whole... I'm sure there are a lot of Florida mans at that party that would attempt to steal the Stanley Cup. <laughs> that would be my guess. We do have a Holographics Dylan Cousins. I love the foilings on these so much. The little bubbles in the background. That is our second Holographics of the box. As I mentioned in Sarah's video, you seem to get one regular and a gold or just two regular, so you should usually be seeing two Holographics per box. A few boxes we've only seen two Ultimate Victories, but usually you're seeing three of those per box. And then you get an assortment of one per box inserts. Usually UD3 or a Dazzlers or an Ovation. Well, usually you're seeing an Ovation. Sometimes I think we've missed an Ovation. Or one of those Conor McDavid inserts. Or the pros and prospects. We did find a pros and prospects here, so most likely no David uh, or McDavid, no UD threes here. But I definitely like all the variety of inserts. For a while, we were seeing something we've never seen in every box. Of course, we still could achieve that in these last few packs here for Ed with a day with the cup. We have Nick Robertson there. Didn't realize Nick Robertson had a beard. That's the thing is usually if you see them with the helmet on, like I was, I when we first op we opened this box, preview box on Friday, I was like, oh, Kale McCarr's on the cover because I know Kale McCarr, I've seen a lot of his, you know, his young gun pictures, you know, his chin's out, very chiseled jaw. So I remember that. It's like, nope, it's just Nathan McKinnon. I'm like, oh, didn't realize that's what Nathan McKinnon actually looks like. I'm just, I don't know. Like even some lightning players, like looking at the pictures and celebration, I'm like, so that's, that's what they look like without the helmet. Like, I don't know. I <laughs> It's bad. Like, if any of them walked into the store, if it's not Stamkos or Hedman or Vasilevsky, honestly, there's a good chance I would have no idea who they were just because I'm not used to, like, seeing what they look like normally, like, in street clothes. Like, even, of course, last year's day with the cup, you think I could study it, but it's just the on-ice pictures because no one took it home, so. Curious, how big usually is the day with the cup insert? I feel like they're usually, like, really large. I gotta start saving for that already. Gotta start saving for that. And we have Jack Hughes, Tributes, number 41. Doo -doo, there we go. Last pack here, last chance for a day with the cup today. We'll be opening up a box, actually, for a fellow from Switzerland. Now, of course, we do just ship to the U.S. and Canada. However, as I mentioned, we do we have no qualms shipping to the forwarding services. And, like, I think there's, like, one in California, one in Arizona, one in, like, Vermont. And as long as it's a valid U.S. address... Feel free, feel free. Because I know we've actually shipped to some people in France that way, but this is the first time with Switzerland, so that was cool. Anyways, Drew O'Connor Young Gun is our final Young Gun of the box. No day with the cup just quite yet, but hey, we found a high gloss. So definitely no complaints here about this box for Ed. But let me straighten up these piles, then we'll get into a recap here. Just had that one singleton ovation insert, like I was saying, no McDavid insert or any other dazzlers we did have the pros and prospects which i sleeved up because it's numbered so we'll take a look at that but of course i sleeved up as well the young gun tributes i've been trying to do that now at first i was like eh, young gun tribute they're not real young guns but definitely still very collectible so we'll sleeve that on up dylan cousins number 84 pros and prospects brad marshawn numbered out of a thousand 162 out of a thousand pros and prospects pp insert number 24 haha <laughs> very funny so i made a comment this weekend when i said that whatever nick kamano for the stars Clear cut number 540, variant from we'll say Josh Brown for the Sens. Then that Ilya Sorokin SPX Finite numbered out of 2999. That is SPX Finite number 44. And then, of course, can't forget to take another look at this super shiny extended series checklist. Patrick Liney and Pierre Luc Dubois, number 6 of 10, high gloss. Very cool. Card number 699. Still hard to wrap my head around these cards, especially when we flip over these young goods and we're going to see they're in the 700s. It's like my brain's like, no, they're not supposed to be that high numbered. Will we ever see extended series again? I don't know at this point. Be great. I mean, I don't know. I feel like Upper Deck's probably like evaluating like public response to it. Be like, hmm, maybe we should just make extended series. Baseball could do it every year. We could probably find stuff to do. I know there's some complaints about the young gun checklist. Apparently the cutoff was too early for Quentin Byfield. 
Some people were hoping he'd be in the set and is not. I know Kaliev is the biggest name, I believe, for the young guns. But of course, all rookies, you really never know what's going to happen. So that does it here for this box. I hope, Ed, that you enjoyed this opening. Love these new additions to your collection. I'll say my favorite pull from this box here was that checklist high gloss. Out of Series 2, we did not pull a single high gloss. We opened up so much of Series 2 here on the channel. Out of Series 1, the only high gloss we found, I believe, was a damaged oiler young gun. Did have a bad corner. So and we may have found a base high gloss. But past few days, we found two high glosses. One young gun high gloss and a checklist high gloss. I love it. Love to see it. Love to see these low numbered cards. Someone was asking me if they make printing plates for these products. I feel like I've seen some on eBay, but I've never pulled one. So not sure if it's a different product. I know the cup hockey has plates from some different sets. Not sure if there's anything lower than the high gloss is what I'm trying to say. But anyways, that does it here for this box for Ed. Thank you so much, Ed, for letting me open up some hockey for you here on the channel. Really hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your collection. All of you out there watching, whether your name is Ed or not, really hope you enjoyed the video too. If you did, don't forget to go on ahead and smack that like button, comments for me, drop those down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you with us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This is our second and final video of the night. As I mentioned, I already do have another break on the schedule for tomorrow of Extended Series. So we'll be back again tomorrow with more hockey. Very excited to get into that. But before I wrap it up here tonight, I do, of course, have to go ahead and give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your support of the channel. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. We do have eight Black Label fans. And in Bounty Hunter Breaks, Epicenter Gaming, Fails Tales, Kira Sultari, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also have 12 Gemmin fans. Alberto M., Chicago Infinity, Chris Rivers, D. Von Dusty Archuleta, Jerry Etchick Geek, Jake Ryan O.C., Joe Howe, Michael C., Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, and Sinvicta. But thank you so much to all of our channel members, and all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. That does it for me here tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed these two hockey breaks. I definitely had a great time, so I really hope you did as well. Take care, everybody. Stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.